Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of 101 Second Reviews. Today, we're going to be talking about this. The Informer, brand new action thriller, kind of gritty action thriller with Joel Kinnaman, where he plays a guy who is forced by uh, kind of dirty FBI handlers to infiltrate the Polish drug mafia in New York, but then he needs an exit strategy sooner rather than later. Okay, right. Back in a second. Okay, right, The Informer. This I have to say, this is kind of a strange movie to a certain extent, because it's out here now in the depths of kind of August, early September. So clearly there's not a lot of confidence in this film, and then it's not out in America till like late January or something. I have no idea what's actually going on with this production. And in a sense, like, you know, they've got Kinnaman, who is, you watch Altered Carbon, you watch him in House of Cards, um, or in the Hannah TV show, and he's really, really good, but it hasn't re translated for him like you watch him as Red Flag in Suicide Squad, and you can see that or Robocop, the remake of Robocop, and it doesn't quite work. And then you've got Rosamund Pike, you've got Common, you have this sense of that what they're trying to do with this, the Italian director is trying to do with this, is he's trying to create that sense of maybe the French connection from the 70s, you know, it's trying to be the opposite in the sense of the, you know, the Gerard Butler action movies, the Liam Neeson action movies, or even the Bourne movies to a certain extent with the kind of the globe trotting kind of Bond feel to it. This is very much located in the city, it's trying to give you a sense of the city, it's trying to give you a sense of the urban, gritty, hard nature of working there. And it succeeds in that way, and it actually looks and feels different, even though if you go back to those kind of movies like, you know, French Connection, Serpico, and so forth, it actually feels like a throwback in a certain way, and that's interesting, I will say that. The problem is, is that it just doesn't come alive, and I don't actually know why, to be quite honest with you. Like, all the ingredients are there, even down to the cast being extremely serviceable to good, but for some reason the film just doesn't jump off the page, and you kind of walk out, and you turn to the person you were with and you say to them, like, that was okay. Like, that was okay, wasn't it? That was an okay movie. And then you simply don't think about it ever again. But go see it. The Informer. It's in the cinema now. Thank you, as always. I'll be back again soon.